Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to the first episode of EDCQ. So uh, no, this is not the first episode uh, that I have done uh, in the YouTube world, uh, EDC world, but it is the first one under our rebranding. Um, we dropped the Q, or we dropped the question mark and replaced it with a Q. So we still are EDC question mark, um, but that is not a great way to search for a channel. So we switched the question mark to a Q for our name purposes and finding us and easeability. So we still are EDC question mark, as well as who provides James Bond with all of his cool, high techy EDC gear, Q. So uh, I thought it was kind of a, a double-edged sword there. We still are EDC question mark, which the question mark begins with a Q in spelling, as well as some cool uh, gadgets that we use here and that we will be using uh, kind of fall under the James Bond Q uh, category. So little dual meaning there, but nonetheless, this is the first episode of EDCQ and uh, I have a bag we're doing. So I uh, want to see what this bag is, how I've modded it and my thoughts on it. Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So we are indeed doing a bag review today, and this is the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2. So this is a backpack style, as you can tell here. Um, it, I believe it is 18 liters, uh, maybe 20 liters, but it is like a smaller style backpack, and it is a very thin backpack, as you can tell. Comes with two water bottle sleeves, these are the mesh water bottle sleeves and they will indeed carry a 32 ounce Nalgene if that is your jam. You have some molly attachments, molly webbing here on either side. You have a handle that is folded over and stitched which is actually fairly comfortable in the hand, not too bad there. Uh, these little tabs here, they actually go to a Y strap system that comes from the bottom comes up and then splits off into a Y so you can cinch the backpack to itself when not full. Um, I never used that and I felt the webbing got in the way of accessing the zipper compartments so I just pulled that off. I do not believe any piece of it I had to cut. It's actually threaded uh, through here as well. This is the bottom portion that's the top. So if I actually ever wanted to reattach it, could easily do that. Nothing was permanently altered on the bag. I just eliminated it because it was more of a hassle for me and I didn't need to really cinch down this pocket. It never, never felt like it was falling over that far. Um, you have your main compartment right here. You have your secondary compartment and then your front slip compartment. There is some molly webbing on the front. I have a actual uh, climbing rated carabiner there. I won't use it for climbing, but it does hold like 4,000 pounds. So I have that here in case I need to hang the bag up or attach something to the bag, or honestly, if I just need a carabiner. So that's easily attached there. Uh, you do have this bit of uh, draw cord here. So you could uh, slide a like a water bottle through here or roll up a rain jacket and slide it through here, whatever you want. But you do have this elastic cordage there. Um, let's see here. The bottom is rubberized. It's a nice rubberized material. So when you set it on the ground or whatever, no worries about messing up the material. And then uh, on the molly up front, I actually just attached this little, um, this little uh, pouch. It has two pin pockets here and I will say uh, in thinking about it now and looking at it I did actually have two pins attached to this so my, my pins have come out sometime and I didn't even notice um, luckily they were just like pilot v5 and a uniball so no big money loss there but I did indeed have actually it might have been a sharpie but I did indeed have two pins slipped in here so those came off at some point so I don't think I'll be putting any pins in there anymore but if you put stuff on the inside it is a great pouch but the one thing this does give you uh, in addition to the extra storage is uh, a little velcro filled that I popped a superman uh, 
um, a patch on and then inside of here it has some elastic bands and so I put um, I put my uh, Listerine breath strips here cinnamon and a uh, um, wintergreen not wintergreen um, spearmint and then I also slipped in here a flashlight um, that is the Olight this is the uh, baton 3 and that is in the blue camo pattern I guess that is uh, dig that light really good light and then I also have in here a pocket knife quick access to that that is the blue baby banter and then slipped in the little slip pocket behind I have a wet one I did have two in there so I've used one of those but that just added kind of a little quick access storage to a flashlight a knife for me you could slide a multi-tool in here if it was on the smaller side uh, whatever you want I also have my Listerine strips and some uh, wet ones so quick access to things that I use frequently and if I want a pin in there uh, anymore I will be putting it on the inside of there or somewhere else in the bag not in these two little pin loops right there um, but that's neither here nor there because that's not actually a part of the bag that's an added on piece but I will put a link to that below although viewer beware if you try to use the pen slots so then we have a slip pocket here inside of here I keep my uh, my secondary wallet this has like gift cards and uh, medical cards in there and then inside of here I just have all the little things that I want quick access to more wet ones a uh, little small boo-boo kit has some alcohol wipes some goodies headache powder and some band-aids I have uh, more wet ones uh, some cold shower wipes which are a little bigger than wet ones and they smell I think those are peppermint scented and then some Tom's some stomach medicine just in case as well as another goodies powder and see if there's anything but wet wipes in here I do have some hand lotion that might actually go away here soon I keep that on me in the winter months because my skin will get chapped but it's not as big of a concern now and then just a few more cold shower wet ones a few more goodies powders and a hair tie in case mine breaks so that's all that hangs out up here just items that I want quick access to uh, I don't want to go digging through my bag to find and then this next compartment so this has one zipper pull here this next compartment is the larger one and it goes all the way from like this is this is the compartment right there that front compartment here so it's pretty good size compartment it does go all the way down only has one zipper doesn't have a dual zipper might not be a big deal to you isn't to me just thought it was something worth noting and then the bag itself has a gray interior which I like it's not like a high-vis orange but I do like the gray much better than if this were all black and you do have your admin panel going on here so inside of there I have a large uh, a larger right in the rain notebook Let's see if there's anything else down here there is I have uh, oh my air tag that way I can find, find my bag if I if it gets lost I have the next tool here and if you haven't seen this one before this is a multi-tool that has a full-size set of scissors on it so this this seriously is one of my favorite multi-tools it's definitely budget friendly and it has a full-size set of scissors never had a problem with this multi-tool so it hangs out right in here uh, inside here as well I do have another pin that's a uniball pin in blue right there you can see the uh, the blue color and then I have the uh, stainless steel sharpie pin it's a pretty good have a fingernail clipper set and my bit vault and this just has like some Benadryl and some chewables for the little guy and then slipped into here might have to pull this out to get it are my skull candy earbuds just a backup set in case mine die when I'm out and about and then down here uh, just kind of sitting in the bottom of this pocket I have some uh, pepper spray and then I have last but not least a little change purse so I can keep some change in there keep it all together not have it loose and milling about my bag so those just sit in the bottom of the pocket down here kind of stay out of the way and the uh, the pepper spray is thicker it's like a bigger item but it actually sits 
if you can see there, it sits below the admin pocket, so it's not adding bulk on bulk, which is what I like. And then this last compartment we have, this, this does not have one of the like hidden compartments in the back here where the panel is. This is the last pocket, no hidden pocket in this bag. Um, I do like those hidden pockets to kind of slide my, my, uh, my iPad in, but it's not a, not a deal breaker for me. And then uh, here on one of the zipper pulls, I just have a small little uh, keychain flashlight, um, but it gives me purchase to open this. And this bag does clamshell open. These zippers go all the way down and it opens up just like that. Now I have modded this bag out and I will show you that in a second. But uh, the first thing you see, diapers, and then uh, some spare sets of clothes here for the little one. I will be super stoked when we're potty trained, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. And then uh, just a little tripod that I can take out and about with me in case I wanna film something. Here in this pocket, this little slip pocket, I have some wipes. And then there is, uh, so here's the slip pocket. Goes right down right down to here and then behind that is a zippered pocket right here so you can open that up I actually don't have anything in that pocket but there's a zipper pocket and then this whole thing is sitting on a sleeve or so you could slide your iPad or something back here and it would it would keep it in but it's not padded and as you can tell by my hand it doesn't go all the way down so I'm not exactly sure what that was entitled uh, used for unless the idea was that you put a uh, water bladder here and that kind of kept it from just like falling into the bag. So that's how the bag comes and there's nothing going on on the other side, but I actually got some uh, uh, Velcro tape and I taped it to the inside panel of this, which was just this black, this black material. I stuck the tape there and created a full back Velcro panel and I stuck these Velcro or these Vertex pouches on here. This one is actually empty, nothing's going on. I also have this organizer pouch here, which right now all it has in it is a battery bank. And then this pouch up here, and the reason I did this whole Velcro panel is this is snacks. This has in it, uh, I've got um, some Chips Ahoy and uh, Cliff Bar right now. But the idea was I could always have snacks in this top pouch that's right by the top of the backpack. And then if we're out and about or doing something and someone gets hangry, we can just literally just grab this, pull that off, and we're ready to rock and roll snack-wise. But as you can tell, this hasn't panned out quite as well as I hoped. If I was a seamstress, I would definitely be sewing these down. And I probably could do something that would work and let these stay down a little better than they currently are. Sorry if I just bumped my mic and you heard that. But this is a very nice bag and I am not a seamstress and I don't wanna do something to this bag that ends up ruining it or just making it look hideous. So I actually have a bag incoming that does have Velcro panels and it should actually be here this week. So I'll be switching from this bag to that bag and I'll be doing an update on that. But I really dig this setup and I really love the Velcro panel and the ability to just kind of grab and go with items. Um, but my, my mods didn't work and I don't want to ruin a hundred plus dollar backpack by my terrible seamstress skills. So wanted to give you guys a quick heads up of that. I absolutely love this Maxpedition bag. I've probably had this thing for 15 years and it has been used as a work bag, uh, as a travel bag, as a bag in my car, kind of like a get home bag for a period of time. And honestly, when I transition out of this from like my mom EDC bag, I'm gonna pull those Velcro tape right off and let this go back to the bag that it was because it is an incredible bag. Uh, does not need the modification for the full Velcro panel. That was something I wanted. Worked out really well uh, for how I wanted it to work out just the practicality of, of the function of it um, or the, 
the way I did it wasn't a long-term solution, but the idea was fabulous. I really do like that setup. It works for me. I just need something that's more permanent than what I did, and my skill level doesn't allow me to make this more permanent. So I found a different solution for that, and this will go back to a non-Velcroed bag. And then the last thing I have is on this side of the pouch, I have uh, some, some little, uh, some dum dum suckers and some little cool little toys as well as a bandana in there. So if we need to wipe up anything quickly or whatever, or we need quick access to toys or a sucker, we're ready to rock and roll. So this is an awesome bag, plan to see it again. Probably just don't plan to see it as an EDC bag until I'm no longer carrying diapers around. But uh, yeah, Maxpedition makes really solid products. Their stuff is uh, hard use gear, that's their motto. You can put this stuff through the paces and it's gonna hold up fine. So I highly recommend their stuff. Um, and yeah, check them out. Love this bag, like I said, I've had it for like 15 years and it still looks just as good as it did the day I got it. Like I'm even looking at the mesh pockets now, no pulls, nothing. And this thing has been carried a ton. So thanks for hanging out with me and watching this review of the Maxpedition bag. Definitely check their products out if you haven't. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Do you have the Pygmy Falcon 2 or any of their other backpacks and what are your thoughts? And I will be back soon with some new stuff. So remember, EDC, EDC.